episode of yet another beer show. I be Colin. And I'm the sane one, JT. <laughs> the reason I'm in pirate mode is because we're going to be drinking the pirate ale. And I'll drop it now. Arr! <laughs> but anyway, we are going to drink pirate ale. It's P-I-R-A-A-T. I don't really know much about this except it's called pirate ale and as I own an eye patch, I decided it would be the right thing for me to pick out at the store. Um, there is a thing on the back of the bottle that says it's one of the top five ales in the world, although self-judged. Yeah, I mean, you, you, but this, if they, this if is they, one if, of the top if, five. If, beer. if they can make that claim for their beer, maybe it is. Yeah, I mean, like this is one of the top five beer video podcasts in the world. Yeah, self-judged. Top, top two. Top two. We'll probably. stick with it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we, we don't know much about it, so I think the best thing is just to try it in our classy glasses and uh, see, what's, see what it's all about. We're going old school this week. This is kind of what you, what you had to do, you know, in, in college, something like that. We're improvising a few episodes, so... Oh, that was easy. Much easier than the other cork tops we've had. So this is a very cool bottle. Um, it's got a pirate on it, so it's got that going for it. Uh, and cork tops are cool. You know, it has a pirate on it, but I wonder if that's just uh, labeling for the U.S. market. If it's actually pronounced pirate, or if it's like... Pirate. Yeah. It might, you know, yeah. Some uh, bastardization of the English language just for marketing, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it is a, it's a, it's a Belgian ale, so hopefully it'll be kind of a classic ale flavor. It, it is made in Belgium. And, it's, and it is made in Belgium, so... Yeah. Pirate slash pirate beer. And, and the Belgian do speak French, right? So They speak all sorts of languages yeah. over there. Big kind of waffles. And beer. The waffles are quite good. Oh. I, I may have given you a pretty bad pour there. No, no, no. Uh, it's I mean, one of the things that happens with the red glasses, I think. The red cups. Uh, so you can't see it through the cups, actually. But <laughs> a lot of foam. But also, just off, offhand, a lot of... Uh, looks like sediment in it. Like, there's... I have things in my phone, like I can actually like see them and pick them out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm noticing that too. And it's got a very strong smell. The nose is all the way, I, just putting it on the table, I can smell it from here. Yeah. I mean, normally I would say, you know, Belgian ales like we've had before, like triple ale that we had a couple right. weeks ago was, uh, um, you know, very light in flavor, light in smell. This, like just by the smell of this, this, this smells heavy. Yeah, and it's hard to tell through the bottle and also we're putting it into plastic cups so we can't tell yet, but I get the sense that it's a darker than your traditional ales. It's kind of more of an amber color when I was pouring it, more than ales tend to be in your golden color area. So, yeah. uh, let's give it a try. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That's a, as I said, that's going to be a very strong flavor. Yeah. Kind of sweet on the end though. Yeah, it's it's re it's really nice. It's it's refreshing. Um, it's. It's a full flavor. It's not um, it's not heavy or anything like that, but it has a lot of flavor in it. I think that's the sediment that's contributing to it. Yeah. I'll also put out there slight mustache warning. I do that from time to time, but it's a little bit frothy. It's hard to pour it, pour it so it's not that way. So be prepared to wipe some off your beard. But I mean, classically, what we've had with Belgian ales is that they always have a full flavor um, mm. and also very strong, high alcohol content. This one has about a ten percent, as I've seen on the bottle. I can't really tell that by the flavor. Like no. usually, like you can, you know, you, you're not supposed to taste alcohol, but you usually get a very intense uh, sensation of the alcohol in a beer. Yeah, and the general rule of thumb is that the the heavier the flavor, the higher the alcohol yeah. content, almost yeah. certainly. But as I said earlier, this this is a sweeter beer, and you, it's a it's a it's a sweeter Belgian ale, and I, I mean I put it up there maybe with like the taste of like a bar like a light barley wine, where barley wine is usually very high in alcohol content, but you can't really taste it. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say this is probably the, you know, like the lighter version of the barley wine that you could have. Yeah, I mean, the things that are key for me is it's just very refreshing, it's very easy to drink, it's, it's got kind of a lot, you can taste some of the fruits in it, um, more so than with a lot of other beers. And um, it's very tasty. Uh, it, it keeps its head, its froth is like still there. Yeah, and you said like fruit flavors. I'm thinking like fig, maybe. I mean, well, uh, there's another. I can't even really say that I know what a fig tastes like, but oh, I'll okay. give it a few. Yeah. Um, it, so there's kind of a cinnamon. There's a cinnamon and some spice levels on it too. So it actually has a lot of flavors. Uh, a lot of flavors, and it's it's quite good. I think we can agree. A lot of flavor. Yeah. Uh, 
something I would stick around to. Uh, obviously, it comes in a big bottle so that you know you can keep drinking it. Mm. Yeah. So this is uh, what's this? this? Is a full pint here? Yeah. So this is a little bit more than a pint. Uh, a lot of uh, imported ales you'll find will be a one pint and nine ounces. This is about that size. So. Get it to share, do something like that with it. It's about ten dollars at your local grocer. Um, it's not that hard to find out there. Get a nice uh, open glass too. Uh, yeah, the eye patch is extra though. Actually, yeah, that the eye patch you have to earn. <laughs> um, I enjoyed it, and I'm I'm gonna finish mine. Yes, cheers. Thanks for watching again. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's very interesting that how much sediment you can actually see. Like, yeah, when you get to the bottom. E even with a plastic cup, I can see sediment. Yeah. It's, um, it's good though. It's yeah. tasty. Uh, thanks for watching there, mateys. Check us out at yetanotherbeershow.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook.com slash yetanotherbeershow. And Twitter.com slash yetanotherbeer. Can't get Lock, enough letters in there. Leave off the show for savings. Yeah. Um, thanks. <laughs> Watch us again. Take care. Bye.